Hello there, it's Roman from Natively, and in this video we will set up in-app purchases for our application. First navigate to the feature section and click in-app purchases. Natively uses Revenue Cat service to enable in-app purchases feature. On this screen uh, you need to click on the switch near in-app purchases. It will enable two fields. You need to enter iOS app key and Android app key. You can enter either iOS or Android, depends on your need. First of all, uh, we will switch to the documentation and take a look on the revenue cat. So, revenue cat uh, makes implementing in-app purchases very easy. As you can see on the image, it uh, provides like a layer between App Store and Google Play Store and your application. To start using Revenue Cat, first of all, we can use Quick Start Guide. Uh, we will need to create our application on the Revenue Dashboard. Click Create New Project and enter project name. To start using Revenue Cat, we need to add at least one platform. Let's start from iOS. Enter the app name and find your app bundle ID in natively, distribution and in this section. Just copy it and paste it here. In the next step you need to enter App Store Connect App Shared Secret. For this purpose we need to navigate App Store Connect Go to the Users and Assesses, open Shared and Secret, and copy this value. Then click Save Changes. We have successfully added our first application. Uh, let's do the same for Android. Google Package Identifier can be also found in natively. Just go to Distribution, Android Build and select the value. In the next step you need to provide service account credential JSON. To create it, just click on this URL How do I create this? You will be redirected to Revenue Cat documentation with the detailed step how to do that. I already have this data, so I will just upload one I have. After doing this, save the changes. At this step, we have created iOS and Android app in Revenue Cat. So the next, we need to copy app keys and save it in natively. First, I will copy iOS, go to the features in App Purchases, and paste it here. Then I need to do the same for Android. and click Save. Then go to Distribution and create a new build of your app, Android and iOS. And at this point, first part of our video is ended. In the next video, I will show you how to link your Revenue Cat purchases with your Google Play and App Store purchases and also set up in your project. Have a nice snow coding!